Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 varsity matchup featuring the Cast and Lady Comets and the Knox Lady Redskins. Uh, I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the other headset by Aubrey Dag. Aubrey, good evening and welcome. Yes, it's good to be back, Blair, um, for another good game and a conference game. Yep. So this is the second conference game for the Comets this week. Um, sadly, Pioneer was on Tuesday, and they yeah. fell to Pioneer. But it was, from what I heard, a close game with the paper said, um, a very good, well-played game. Yeah, um, it was close up until the uh, fourth quarter is mm -hmm. what I was uh, informed. And as a matter of fact, the Lady Comets were leading at half. So. Um, looking forward to some high energy basketball tonight. The JV Comets unfortunately fell by just one point uh, with that game ending about 20 minutes ago. So uh, looking forward to some good basketball tonight. John Harrell is predicting uh, quite a hefty advantage to the Redskins here tonight. Uh, but as we both know, the game's not played until it's played and it's not over until it's over. So. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, so if you're joining us from home, thank you and welcome. Uh, you have about 30 seconds to go make sure your refreshments are topped up. And uh, we'll be having the national anthem and some lineups. And we'll be getting underway here very shortly. Right, let's get some starting lineups. Number 10, Riley Messer. Number 14, Megan Bolin. Number 20, Remy Jordan. Number 21, Felicity Legnizak. And number 24, Preston Minix. Number 11, Isabel Scales. Number 12, Bailey Harness. 
Number 13, Addison Zimpleman. Number 25, Abby Williamson. Good to see her back. And number 35, Jordan Klingler. are going to play Maddie and Abby tonight. They're yeah. both dressed. Uh, Madison, I asked her about her ankle today, um, and she said she did play on Tuesday. Okay. Um, she's, she, the way she's moving, you can tell it's still a little tender, but I, I think that once the adrenaline kicks in, she'll be, she'll have a solid game. And there's the tip. Opening tip goes to the Redskins. And early shot attempt by Messer is off the mark. Lady comments with that rebound. I think the key for the Lady Comets tonight is to be able to compete with them. Um, just from past experience, Knox has been a really strong team just every year. Maybe yep. not always the best, but they were always at the better skill levels that we'd compete against. Yeah. Um, Put back by Williamson off the mark. Yeah, they're a, a lot bigger of a school than we are. Yeah. And so. And they just have a history of being very strong. Um, but yeah. I know reading from the paper, Coach Douglas said they were doing good. They just got tired. The Comets just got tired. Right. Um, and so if we can stay strong throughout, I think that'll be a key to the outcome of this game. Absolutely. You know, and it was a, uh, and there's a Legend Zach drawing first blood in this game. Um, you know, the Lady Comets have just had a busy schedule this last five oh. days or so. Jordan Klinger is wide open down there on the block. Abby Williams says she got the rebound. Jordan cut over wide open on the block. Could have been an easy put back. But um, they caught her on a travel there. Yeah. Uh, looked like a pretty good plant to me, but, you know, my opinion is not the one that counts. And uh, Minix there with three. Lady Redskins out to an early five-point advantage. Zimpleman looking to work the ball across midcourt. Good pass play there. Ooh. And uh, Scales getting stuffed on that one. Ball goes out of bounds on that block. I think that's something that the comments will also not be used to. This team is a lot of height, and mostly height. Yeah. Uh, you know, usually there's a few players that are, you know, on the shorter side. We can overpower and be at least the same height as. But they have a lot of really strong players that aren't gonna let those over the top passes go easily. Oh yeah, looking down the uh, roster, not that anybody would ever fudge their height on the roster, but. I mean, uh, I was five foot on my roster, so. <laughs> that first, <laughs> first shot by Harness is good. Um, but according to the roster, uh, virtually all of Knox's players are well north of five and a half feet. Oh, easily. Uh, like the shortest is five one, number 25. But other than her, there's five, seven or higher. Um, you don't see a whole lot of that. Yeah. Yeah, for, for high school ladies, that's uh, pretty tall. A legend, Zach, with that shot off the mark. Getting a second attempt here. Jordan. Gonna get a third attempt. Fourth Thomas attempt. And, and we'll draw the foul. The foul. Foul there on number 35, Jordan Klingler, her first, team first. She'll send Jordan to the line for the end one attempt. And one, getting three the hard way. Legend of Zach up, putting pressure on Scales. Scales over to Zimpleman, Zimpleman to Harness. Harness makes a move towards baseline, passes it off to Klingler, and the pass is picked. Ooh, that was a really nice step through right there. Bowler making those moves to the basket. 
I think Coach Douglas is going to call a timeout. Talk about what's going on. Uh, I definitely think he's going to have a lot to say. <laughs> I, um, definitely I so. not the start that the Comets were looking for. Um, and you have to give that to the fact that they are a very well like team playing team right uh you know they a lot of their points have come from fast breaks where one player is already cleared out the block and all of our people are still half court absolutely you know um and so they just they look forward they see their people but the shot attempts and re-attempts like that uh, i don't remember which number uh jordan was, number 20 where she got uh, four attempts like her rebound four times and right. then drew a foul those things just can't happen. No, um, not not with a team as athletic as Knox obviously is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not often that we see less than half of the first quarter gone, and a coach already using a full timeout. Yeah. Um. Right, ball into Zimpleman. She'll cut back and forth across. A couple passes, gets the ball across midcourt. Williamson back to Zimpleman. Uh, Zimpleman double coverage. in trouble down there. Baseline pass. Knocked out of bounds by Knox. Jordan Cleaner was still open there on the opposite block. I don't know if you noticed that, Blair, but if Williamson would have turned around, I mean, Jordan was right there ready for the ball. They were double teaming her and Addison. Zimpleman for three off the mark. Knox with that rebound. And a legend, Zach, putting two more on the board. Yeah, it sure seems like the comments are focusing on keeping the ball outside. Yeah. Legend, Zach, with a pick. And she'll put two more on the board. As I say, um, they get a lot of their points and rebounds and steals from down below because they can double team us. Oh, Knox not happy with that call. And that foul's gonna be on Remy Jordan, her first, team third. We have Maddie Smith in for Abby down below. Deep inbound. Zimpleman to Harness, Harness to Scales. Back to Zimpleman, Zimpleman into the paint, pass is picked. Looking for that three. Shots off the mark. Oh. Put back no good. <laughs> Messer's gonna get a break. We've got Moss in. And we've got Yarber in for the Comets. Ball in play, number 24 minutes. Passes back to Bolin. Bolin to Legendzak. Legendzak at the volleyball line. Passes over to Moss. Knox working that ball inside. Be a foul on Bailey Harness. That'll be her first, team second. Bolin at the line for the end one attempt. Shots up and off the back of the rim. Zimpleman to Smith. A little high on that pass. It's knocked out of bounds. Bowling to Legendzak. Legendzak back to Bowling into the paint to Messer. Messer for two off the mark. Comets get that rebound. 
Zumpelman to Yarber. Yarber tries to send it to Harness in the paint. Pass is picked. And a legend, Zach, will go coast to coast, put up two more. Three minutes left in the first. Knox with a 16 point advantage. And we've got Lane Oliver coming in for the Comets. Smith sending the ball into Harness. Yarber back to Harness. Harness to Zimpleman. Zimpleman quickly gets covered up, passes it away. They're just getting flustered right now. Yeah. They're not running necessarily what needs to be run, but Knox is definitely in their head already, and this early in the game is not good. Legend Zach with cross court pass to Minix. Moss back to Legend Zach. Another cross court pass. Over to Messer on the left. Moss up to the volleyball line. Down to the paint. From the top of the key for Moss. Off the mark. Comments with that rebound. Scales off the mark on her shot. Smith definitely still has a little bit of a limp going on. Mm -hmm. well, that wasn't actually probably supposed to be a pass, but uh, it worked out. <coughs> Ball into Messer. Cross midcourt. The legend Zach on the right, down into the paint. Pass nearly picked off. Knox able to save it. Open three Ooh. off the mark. on the left. Williamson back to Yarber. Yarber fakes the three, goes in, pulls up, shots off the mark. Got Zimpleman back in for the comments. Post back outside. That's Messer, a double, double dribble. dribble. <laughs> Scales cross center ring. A hot pass. Man. A lot of risky passes tonight, Blair. Yeah. I think you're right that a big part of it is they're struggling with that height. Ball swatted out of bounds by the Redskins. 39 seconds left here in the first. Ball back deep. Smith into the paint. Just a little off the mark on that shot. It's just they're also having a hard time finishing. You know, they'll have good layups and passes inside. It's just they they can't finish. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's definitely not been a want for attempts on basket here tonight.
Shot off the mark, Oliver with that rebound. <laughs> Foul called on number 24, Preston Minutes. Be her first, team three. Ball into Yarber, back to Zimpleman. Gerber to Scales. And shot off after, after the buzzer. At the end of one, Caston two, Knox 18. Uh, that's that's got to definitely be in the, in the Comets' heads. And uh, not sure what they're going to do at this point, but they've got to stop the mental slide at this point. Yeah, uh, it's kind of... It kind of be interesting to know like how they went into this game, what their right. mindset was, because I know there's always those certain teams, um, even just with any sport, where it's like, all right, they're known for being really good, like right. they're probably going to destroy us, uh, and you, you just can't have that mindset going into it. And I hate to think that that's how we started this game, just because they've had a really good record this year. They just right. gave Pioneer run for their money. You know, there's a lot of opportunity there. There. Right potentially in the running for the conference title um, in a roundabout way, depending on how the other teams come out. Right. Uh, well, of course, Knox right now sitting on an undefeated season. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't help that with yesterday having a weather-related cancellation, the ladies didn't get the practice that they would have had. That is very had. true. That is very true. So, so they got, they got a, a rest day, which probably had some benefit, but I'm sure that they would have rather been in here uh, and running some practice, running some drills. Scales goes to the right, down to the post to clean and clean for two. Oh, that was. Okay, well, hopefully we are back as we're underway in the there second half here. And uh, I do apologize for. Um, for the craziness, um, and uh, when we have a break here, we'll go over this first half stats. And right, Knox throwing it away. Scales working the ball across midcourt. Off to Harness into the corner to Zimpleman. Zimpleman Ooh. trying to get the ball into the paint. Oh, still coming up with that ball. They need to reverse the ball though. Uh, and Coach Douglas calling a 30 second timeout. And we'll take this opportunity to go over some first half stats, especially because we had some technical difficulties. I did lose track of a few stats during that time period, uh, but this will kind of give you an indication of how we got to the 15-27 uh, score you see now. Lady Comets shooting one for three from outside in the first half, three for 11 inside the arc, shooting six for six from the free throw line. Uh, Lady Redskins, three for seven outside, eight for 20 inside, and only shooting one for six from the line. I'm sure that was something they discussed in the locker room. Scales to Zimpleman. Zimpleman getting trapped by that extended zone again. I was gonna again. say, down to Jordan. Jordan is wide open. Klingler too hard and uh, Harness getting hatched in there. Yeah, that may or may not have been a foul, but uh, they didn't call it, so I guess we can't complain. <laughs> oh, oh, that was it. Okay, one has a jump ball, one has a foul. Ooh. Foul there on scales, her second. But, but they called that one. <laughs> <laughs> Team first in the half, Messer at the line. First shot good. Yeah. 
Second shot goes a little wide. Lady Comets getting that rebound. Williamson takes the three, passes it go. to Scales, who's good for two. I say that they, they are not wasting any time. Good ball movement here by the Redskins into the paint. And that'll be a foul on Jordan Finger. Be her third, team second. Jordan at the line. I wouldn't have bet on that ball dropping. That was definitely an unusual flight pattern for that basketball. I was gonna say, I've- and She's so good at that. I was gonna say, she, I've watched her over the last couple of years and it's a weird shot, it is but a, it goes It goes in. up and then forward. It's really strange. Scales, baseline, she'll draw the foul. Foul was on number 10, Riley Messer. Her first, team first. Both shots dropping for scales. Downs to a legend, Zach. Underneath to Jordan, shots off the mark. Second shot drops though. Back to that second attempt. She got her own rebound, put it straight back up, and yep. drew another foul out of it. Yep, foul was on Williamson, that'll be her first, team third. Yeah, Jordan's got that shot dialed in, but she, she she shoots her arm straight up and then flips her wrist to get forward momentum. It's Ooh, I don't know how that ball got uh, through there the first time to harness. Jump ball, possession arrow will go to Knox. Ball over to Legend Zach on the right. Kind of surprised Downs didn't take that shot from the top of the key. I know, she was wide open and there was no one near her. Down to the post to Jordan and she'll put two more on the board. Williamson back to scales underneath the harness. That was a very nice move there. Giving that assist there to harness. Shot up, in and out. Kind of a wild Three pass. Three-pointer there for Addison, just short. Uh, Kama's coming up with that rebound. Slowing down and resetting the play. Over to Smith on the left. Smith gets tripped. And that'll be on, I believe, number 10. I Messer. thought he said 11. Okay, well, I guess we'll see. It is 11. That was on downs. Her first, team second. Yarber back in for the comments. Moss back in uh, for Knox. There we go. Man, there's Good finish there by Manny Smith.
downs up the volleyball line, back to Legendzak. Over to Moss. Back to Legendzak. Downs on the right to the post. And uh, Remy Jordan finally missing one of those post shots. Scales nearly dribbles into trouble, backs out of it. Up to Zimpleman at the volleyball line. Yarber back to Zimpleman to Smith. Smith almost missed that pass. And uh, Yarber managing to keep a hold of that. This Knox zone is really causing some problems for the yeah, Comets. Yeah, and that's that's something else that um, Douglas man. said in the paper was they play best against a man-to-man. -man. Right. Um, and I can see why it makes them move. The cutter will cut with them. Uh, it's just easier to get them moving. But with a zone, they have their places, and if what they're looking for is an inside sh shot, it's – a lot harder to get there. Right. Ironically, uh, our Comets basketball teams have traditionally struggled against a man-to-man -man defense. So that's because I mean it was just never focused on. Right. Uh, and it's really nice to see that that is what they've been playing a lot of and gotten better at. Yeah. Because a lot of teams do struggle against a man-to-man. -man. Right. Uh, as a matter of fact, our ladies used it very effectively one game last week or two weeks ago um, just because a lot of teams do struggle against that kind of tight defense. Legend Zach sends it in towards the paint. Post shot by Moss is off the mark. Lady Comet's getting that rebound. Oliver losing control of the ball. It'll go jump, and the Comets will... Keep the keep possession. It was a good look, just too hard of a pass in. Yeah. There. But they can get that rebound. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, this, uh, I'll, this... I'll agree with the refs, uh, you know. The Knox crowd around us, Sitting on the wrong us, side to say that, but <coughs> she definitely hit that out of Bella's arms. Yeah. Ooh. And uh, Knox will get the ball off of... This jump. Got Minix back in for the Redskins. Downs to Legend of Zach, back to Downs. Moving the ball over to the right to Minix, or left. You're one of those directions. I say, we know our right from our left. It's okay. Ball underneath to Jordan, and it's good. Oh, wow. wow. A pair of picks easy, right easy, there. Easy, easy, easy. It just needed slowed down and set up after that. Yeah. Into the paint, Moss. Outside to Legends Act, shots off the mark. Oh, oh and Yarber no. came down hard on her tailbone. And she's back up. That hurts too. That's yeah, it was sad as mean it was getting a rebound with our own right. you know, team. Yeah, they're they're uh the Lady Comets are getting really intense out there, which I mean
they it's need good that to see intensity. them going for the rebounds because that's what they struggled with in the first, especially the first quarter. Right. Mm. Ooh. That turned out really good. Scales again, though, amping up the intensity and putting say, her Isabel, own teammate on the floor. Isabel made that bad pass look really good. <laughs> um, and that's just athleticism right there. Yeah. Less than 30 seconds remain here in the third quarter. The Legends at cross court to Moss, or excuse me, Minix. There we go. Ugh. Harness got her hand on that ball, almost causing a turnover. Little tip, the legend is act for three. Off, Off the back of the rim, Harness. Oh, that should almost be yeah, an over the back that. right there for sure. Yeah, Harness definitely took an elbow to the back of the head. At the end of three, cast in 25, knocks 37. Both teams putting 10 on the board that quarter. I was gonna say, I think this would be a much closer game if we hadn't gotten so far down in the first quarter. I mean, they still have plenty of time to come back because it's only down by like a few points, but it's right. making up those 10, yeah, that, 15 points that uh, we were. 16. 16 points that we were down in the first quarter. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the Comets actually won the second quarter 13 to nine. Uh, and then tied it up at 10 all here in the third. So it could absolutely be anybody's game. But by the same token, we could also end up seeing that 20 point spread that John Harrell predicted. I mean, yeah. it is just anybody's you, you game. You never know what's gonna happen. Um, but I, they've definitely come out and played the second half. Absolutely. The first one, I think they just needed to get warmed up, get it in their head that they can play in this too and it's, not just a given who's uh, going to win. And they again, definitely showed up. Again, so I, far. I think that that lost day yesterday really had a lot to do with how the game opened here tonight. Williamson down to down the to post Klinger. to Klingler. And there it's we good. go. Opening salvo of the fourth quarter. Ball over to Moss. Moss going to kick it to Legends Act. Back to Moss on the right. Oh, Scales almost having that, putting her team. The legend is act for three. Oof. Harness almost. Oh, I thought they were gonna call that on Harness. Zumpelman to Knox bring it down the court. Knox pulling up that defense, hoping to get an easy turnover. Nice ball movement. Down to the post to Klingler, and she'll there put Trina up on the board. Keep doing it until it doesn't work anymore. Ball down to Jordan mm. at the post. She will draw the foul. Gonna call that, I think, on Klingler. No, that's on uh, Bailey Harness, her second. That was, that was a tough call. Team four. That, that was a bad call in my opinion. Unfortunately, uh, Jordan's 100% from the line tonight. You know, every single time. You I, never fail, Blair. I, I may you or may You say something and then they miss. Doesn't matter what team it's for. I may or may not do that on purpose. I know that there's <laughs> no actual credence to it. Off the front of the rim with that one. Zumpelman trying to get across midcourt. Over to Harness, down to Klingler. Klingler and quadruple coverage. Great ball Zimbleman. movement. Oh, oh, in and, in and out. out. Isabel with that rebound. Giving it back to Scales, Holy and there's a foul. Wow. Wow. Foul on number 14, Megan Bolin, her fourth. That was a lot right there. I mean, that was between the rebound from Klinger, and then almost going out of bounds, hitting it into scales. That was a lot. <laughs> that was. 
first shot drops for Scales. Second shot, nothing but net. Knox not wasting any time anymore. No. They are ready to get down that court and set up their play. Fantastic intensity by the Comets so far in the fourth quarter. Yes, hopefully we can keep it up for the next six minutes. I think, Blair, that if they keep up that same intensity, we could see a Comet victory by the end of this. And uh, number 21, a legend of Zach fouling there. That'll be her first, team fourth. And timeout on the floor. Wow, what a crazy not even two minutes. Lady Comets have actually cut that lead down now to six. Definitely the run that they were looking for. Now they are to the point where they are in Knox's head, and you can tell. Yeah. Uh, they're getting frustrated. And at the beginning of the game, they were not arguing at all amongst each other. They were pointing to where everyone needs to go. And now they don't know where each other's at, and they're kind of getting frustrated. Yeah. But this, this timeout, uh, you know, any timeout, it's kind of like, you know, a rising tide lifts all ships. Mm -hmm. Both teams get a chance to reset. Both teams get a chance right. to talk strategy. So. And sometimes timeouts can actually hurt a little bit. I mean, you go from constant, 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 getting into a motion to, all right, pause. Right. Oh. And Coach Douglas calling a timeout, timeout, saving that one. Another 30-second timeout there. Five fifty-six remain in regulation here tonight. Caston having closed the gap to a six-point game. Five timeouts remain between the two teams. Given the intensity that's building, how long do you think this last six minutes will take to play? I don't even want to think about that. <laughs> I mean, I'm always here for a good game, but you know, sometimes <laughs> six minutes can turn into half an hour. Oh, absolutely. Easy. We've both seen it. Especially as the intensity ratchets up, fouls start happening. Ball in play, Zimpleman three for point. three. Oh, oh, just off, off the, the mark. mark. Rebound by, ooh, sorry, Abby Williams. I like paused there, I was like, what is she gonna do with it? Great presence of mind there by Scales as she was, yeah, she got trapped mm -hmm. to uh, send it out off of the defender's leg. Scales into Zimpleman. Zimpleman taking it back to the center ring, taking some time to set up a play. Go back and forth. Scales now. Scales will take it up to the center ring. Off to Zimpleman. Into the corner to Williamson. Oh, oh and pass steal. picked. Now Legend Zach Downs. Over to Moss, or Minix, excuse me. Messer on the left side. And a pick there by Zimpleman. And Zimpleman going all the way with it. And a foul. <coughs> foul there on number 21, a legend, Zach. Her second, team five. Zimpleman at the line, shoot two. First shot, good.
second shot, textbook. Knox nearly beating the defenders down mm -hmm. the court. I they say, are again, not wasting time. They're gonna get that in, they're gonna get it down the court. Cross court pass to Menix. Back up to Downs. Over to Legend Zach. Into the paint. Back out to Menix. Cross court pass. Trying to wear these common defenders out, mm -hmm. chasing the ball around. I say I almost wonder if they're also trying to just run out some time. Well, uh, with a with a four point lead, it's a good play. Jordan into the paint and pass goes out there of bounds. We go. Ball for the Comets. This home crowd's trying starting to sound about twice as big as it actually is. Zempelman across mid court. And that's almost on both sides there, Blair. I mean, Redskins are not happy with the turnout of what's happening so far. Williams for three over the mark. I was kind of surprised there wasn't a foul called on that. I was defense. very surprised by that too. Uh, but you know, the refs are playing it fair on both sides. Oh, absolutely. They've let both, they, they, both teams away with a lot. Yep, they're letting it play. And travel. And a legend Zach with a travel. Whoa. Under half of the fourth remains. Four point ball game right now. And this is where the comments have to be careful too. They need to set up their play they need to play the game at their at their pace that's travel uh but they yeah. also need to keep in mind that they can't just let that clock run either yeah yeah and that's i feel like that's kind of where they're at they're trying to set something up but they're to the point where it's like all right what's gonna work what's gonna get them moving again right because their streak kind of ended a little bit i mean i don't know if you noticed but there yeah. hasn't been a whole lot of points scored no Get the ball. Oh, that's out on comments, yeah. Ooh, I'm surprised Klinger, they didn't. I say Klinger oh. almost with that. Uh, almost with the steal, but also almost with the steal. And Remy Jordan putting two more on the lead for the Redskins. I'm kind of surprised though, Blair. They've sunken back their defense. Earlier in the game when they started getting close, they pulled it forward. Yeah. Cross court Long pass to pass. Williamson. And that didn't even have a lot of like, oomph behind no, it. No, it didn't. They've really got to watch these passes though. Ooh. Into the corner to Williamson, up to Zimpleman. Scales for three. Oh, off. a little off the mark. <laughs> Dumping and it down to Jordan. Up, straight up. Rebound, there we go, there we go. Williamson with that rebound. I am half surprised I didn't call that over the back on Remy Jordan. Scales dribbling they into double cut. They haven't called any over the backs though. Um, I mean, that's just not a common call, but even the ones that I've seen that are really noticeable tonight, like that one on Harness that we saw earlier. That's true. Williamson stuck in the corner, double coverage. Using another timeout for the Comets. Wow, a lot, a lot of action. The speed of this game has just amplified. Absolutely, absolutely. Both, both teams realizing that a lot's on the line here. I mean, I know the I comments mean, are probably thinking, holy crap, we're in this. And they're pro the Redskins are probably like, holy crap, they're, <laughs> they're in this. They're in this, yeah. Uh, you know, 90 seconds, well, a little less than 90 seconds left to play here tonight. Six-point game. Um, 
Yeah, it's going to take a lot of effort at, at this point, but still anybody's game. Oh, definitely, definitely. I would, I would love to be able to see the comments pull us off tonight because no one expected that. Um, you know, I don't know the well, last right. time the comments were even remotely close to Knox. Um, just from my own experience, I don't know <laughs> the last game where they did not blow us out of the water. Well, yeah, and looking back, uh, the last meetup, Knox won 61-24. Uh, yeah. It was this time last year. Uh, John Harrell again predicting a 20-point victory mm -hmm. for the Redskins here tonight. Um, I was going to say, you can tell that this group of comments is just brand new. I mean, they bring a lot of intensity, Blair. Yeah. Uh, I am beyond well, impressed with them, honestly. Like, this is amazes me, just kind of sitting here and seeing that they're also not giving up. Not right. a single one of them dropped their head when they got down. They stayed in it, yep. and they played hard. A uh, kick called there on a legend of Zach. Comments will reset. Yeah, and, uh, Knox is 5-0 and oh in this series. Mm -hmm. So it would be phenomenal to see a Comets victory tonight. 76 seconds to play. Ooh, nice I'm screen set. Very surprised down that to was the post to harness. Just off. Klinger back in for the Comets. They're going to put her down at the post. Knox adjusting already, putting Klinger in double coverage. Ball in deep to Williamson, over to uh, Zimpleman. And Klingler back out to Williamson, and Williamson three. for three, oh, just, just off the off. mark. Less than a minute left. Comets, up, Comets have to put pressure on defense. that. I wondered how many times they were going to let I, her foul before they finally caught it. Well, the coach, that's what the coaches are telling them to oh, do. Yeah. I don't know if you could hear them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said foul, the foul. Line, but they're like, foul. Uh, so I'm like, all right, when are, when are we going to. That foul start was on that? Zimpleman. That was her second. Uh, it's because even we've seen if they foul the right person, some of the Knox players haven't been able to hit all of their free throws. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Remy Jordan is super high percentage, uh, but Megan Bolin, 0% from the line. A Legend of Zach, 0%. Messer, 50%. So, yeah. You know, and so, and we usually get the rebounds off of right. those fouls. A Legend of Zach holding the ball. Call, uh, foul called on Zumpelman, her third. Team seven, a legend of Zach will go to the line for one and one. The line. You know, honestly, it's been such a clean game. It, it has. I mean, they had a foul several times before they put them into the bonus. Oh, travel. That was, that was just the rebound that we were looking for. Um, yep. But the intensity of the game, I feel like it's starting to get a hold of some of some of them. I, oh, we got a foul. Foul on Scales, her fourth. Sending Bull into the line for one and one. Little hard on that shot. As I say, they 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 need to go. Oh, oh, in and out. Apologize for blowing out your speakers. Oh man, just in and out. Isabel scales at the line for two. First miss of the night for Scales from the line. Got Harness and Yarber back in for the Comets.
Uh, second shot doesn't roll the way that they'd go. like. Hopefully. Williamson now will go to the line. Foul there on 20, Remy Jordan. Her third. Shot is good. The Comets really, really need this. No oh, foul call there on Zimpleman. It'll be her fourth. <laughs> Preston Minix to the line. Shot is good. <coughs> Could be the nail in the coffin. Second shot good. Back to a six point game. Yeah. Scales with that long three just off the mark. And the Redskins will hold it to finish out the game. Final score here tonight, Caston 35. Knox, 41, much closer game than what was anticipated. Uh, we're going to step away for a few words from our sponsors, and we will be back with some post-game wrap-up stats here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, your final score here tonight, Cast and 35, Knox, 41, and a, and a heartbreaking loss. Um, really looked like the, the Comets were going to rally and pull out the win tonight. Uh, some final stats. Once again, we did miss some uh, some stats through the second half of the first half uh, as we had some technical difficulties. Uh, but Comets, one for nine from outside. Uh, and they've been a huge outside team this season. So really, uh, you could see all those early shot attempts from outside. And um, I think that was part of what led to that early deficit. Anyway. Uh, shot 9 for 23 inside the arc and shot 14 for 16 from the free throw line. Just shot the lights out from the free throw line here tonight. Uh, the Lady Redskins finished up 30%, 3 for 10 from outside. Uh, into the night 12 for 31 inside the arc and only 7 for 17 from the free throw line. And uh, honestly, Aubrey, you and I were just talking during the break that if it weren't for that 18 to 2 deficit in the first quarter this was the Comets game tonight oh a 100% Blair uh, it was just the Redskins they got to maintain through most of the game until the right. last quarter when the Comets they had to up their intensity bring Absolutely. all they had and keep that up clear through the fourth. Absolutely. the Comets lost the first quarter once again by 16 points uh, they won the second quarter, um, 13 to can't math, 13 to nine. Uh, tied the third quarter, 10 all, and then won the fourth quarter, 10 to four. Uh, such a close game. Uh, really, the comments are very, very close to making this a five and one series instead of a six and zero, oh, and definitely let Knox know that. They have some competition in the conference. Uh, so tomorrow night, the uh, the guys will travel up to Knox to take on the Redskins. We will not be on the road for that one. Uh, we will, however, be covering Saturday night's game as the Comets host the uh, Tippecanoe Valley Vikings. So uh, not what's on your schedule if you're looking at the schedule. Uh, the guys were supposed to play Delphi, and uh, Delphi, um, yeah, their team can't play right now. They, they, they're down with the sickness. So anyway, uh, we hope that you will join us 
once again, Saturday evening, 6 p.m. for JV, and then Aubrey and I will have the headsets on at 7.30 for Comet's Varsity Basketball on Saturday. Until then, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. I'm Blair Zimmerman, once again joined by Aubrey Degg. We'll talk to you guys here in a couple of days. This was Casting Comets Basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4.